Hello, Steve. My name's David from HeyYouGuys.co.uk. Um, first question, uh, I saw Avatar last night. I loved it. Can you tell me a bit about the film and, and a bit about your character? Hmm. Well, it's an epic uh, adventure uh, slash love story slash sci-fi picture. Um, it uh, takes place on a planet a long ways away, uh, actually on the moon of a planet a long ways away. Uh, That's cool. So, and your character? Uh, I play Colonel it? Quaritch. I play uh, an old Marine, uh, fought in a lot of bad wars back on Earth, uh, finally retired and became, uh, took uh, this job as head of security uh, on, uh, at Hell's Gate, which is the human compound up on Pandora. And uh, the environment up there is uh, <laughs> every bit as rough, if not rougher. Yeah, in fact, it's a lot rougher than it was back on Earth. He, bring, he brings a very, uh, a very strong uh, skill set to his job, but it's a diff But the planet itself rebels against him. Okay, um, your character. I, I found uh, lines like "shut your pie hole" that you give to Sigourney Weaver. Was that was it comedy or was it ironic or and things like drinking the mug of coffee as you're going into battle? Mm -hmm. It was just supposed to be uh, truth. I think there is a. Uh, uh, I think that he is aware and has a, 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 an absolute sense of irony. And so I think a lot of uh, his, his take, certainly his attitude towards grace, uh, played by Sigourney, is uh, uh, it's equal degrees contempt, mockery, uh, which I suppose is the same thing, um, probably a little bit uh, intimidation, both uh, and, and fear. He, he doesn't quite understand her. He's a bit threatened by her, but he thinks, she, he thinks that she's full of it. And so, uh, so one of the ways, he, he's a man with a very, very keen wit. He's an intelligent man. He's cool yeah. and, uh, and, and, and very icy, yeah, very yeah, hard cool. and very lacerating. So wit is a weapon with him. So whether you're, you know, it's an interesting question. Was that supposed to be funny? Mm. Well, it's funny to him maybe. Yeah, because to me I sort of laughed, but I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be. But I was, I thought it was you laughed cool. at it? I did, uh, that, that, the uh, shut your you. pie hole bit. Damn you. I apologize. Um, can you tell me a bit about how you got involved in the project? Because I hear it wasn't um, sort of it wasn't just a, an outright casting. It, it, there's a bit of history to how you met James Cameron. And well, I uh, I was doing I was getting ready to open uh, my own play in New York, which has military themes to it, and uh, and Jim saw a, a photo uh, from the New York Times of me about to do the play and recalled that we had, uh, I had auditioned for him many years previously for Aliens, and it was, a, I, it was a good enough audition for him to remember, though perhaps not good enough for me to get the part, of course. But uh, in any case, uh, uh, you know, my number came up, and uh, we, uh, we had conversations. I, uh, first, I, they asked me if I'd read the script, which I said, okay. And uh, um, the, the script blew me away. And then we had a long conversation on the phone because I was on the East Coast, he was on the West Coast. That went well. You know, everything just sort of furthered the process. And then um, he asked if, well, he, he, he kind of conjectured. He said, God, it sure would be good if we could get together for a little more creative discussion. So what happened was on my day off from the show after a Sunday matinee, which was my last show of the week, I flew out to L.A. and we met on Monday. Uh, in uh, in Malibu, and we uh, we talked, and we worked, and we talked, and finally we kind of ran out of stuff to talk about for the moment, you know. And uh, I went back to the airport, and by the time I got there, uh, I was informed that I was going to be offered the role. So it was quite unconventional in mm. its way. So it was the longest uh, interview ever, I guess. Over the that's exactly right. Years. It was the longest callback. Yeah, in the but, it, but it came in the end, which is good. Um, do you think, so 10 years from now, so 10 years ago we had things like the Colosseum being created in Gladiator and now we can do live 3D on a set. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think we might see technology in 10 years from now? Mm. Do, do you have any ideas on that? Well, that's a, I'm not sure. I mean, I think that 10 years from now, probably, uh, certainly the universe of Pandora will continue to be explored, certainly if the film is received well. I would think. I mean, he's created not just a planet, not just a race, he's created a universe, mm -hmm. essentially. And uh, if you look at, in a way, it's got the same kind of sculpt 
that Middle Earth uh, Tolkien does, mm -hmm. or the same kind of scope that a George Lucas universe. At least it has that potential, I think. So uh, goodness knows, and I mean, I, I, where it could go, and I do believe that Jim will continue to be technologically uh, uh, on the cutting edge, and uh, and things will just progress further and further in that direction. I think. Cool, pushing the boundaries. Yeah. Um, on our website, we're currently running a what's your um, most influential film of the decade in, in the last, as we're approaching the end of it. What what for you is your favorite film of this last decade? Or Boy, that's a, it's an excellent question. I, I would say the one that comes to mind right now is Apocalypto. Okay. I thought Apocalypto was really amazing, mm. amazing film. It had um, similarities with Avatar, I guess, as well. In that. I suppose it does. I mean, uh, you're excluding Avatar, aren't you? Of course you? I am, yeah. yeah. Obviously that is the top. Um, yeah, absolutely. But I would say that, and then on another, uh, just sort of the other side of that particular coin to me personally would be Master and Commander, okay. which I thought was a superb Yeah, both film. excellent films. Yeah. Um, and my last question, we, we, have, we, we uh, started our site with an 80s base. Um, what's your favorite 80s film ever? 80s? Mm. Uh, what came out in the 80s? Um, I'm trying to think what it would be in the 80s, 70s. <laughs> okay, mm. tell me 70s if you like. Well, 70s is, 70s is tough. There's so many good ones. There's <laughs> Chinatown, there's Apocalypse Now, Oops, there's yeah. God, all the, God, the Godfather movies. There's uh, uh, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, which might be late 60s, I'm not sure. So many fine films, I think. The 80s, uh, certainly Aliens was a superb film. Uh, uh, Titanic is not 80s, is that 90s? No, it's 90s, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, That's two James Cameron films. What, what about the, there. what was it, what was the Back 80s? to the Future, you've got me. Goonies, as well, the Hey You Guys, nah. uh, quite, no, Oh, you know what I loved was, E.T. Uh, e. was 80s, right? That's a, that's a wonderful film. I think I loved E.T. Mm. Uh, I love adventure films. I love adventures, I like, uh, yeah, pretty much. So, I'm not sure how many they were making. Yeah, back oh, cool. Then. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. That's brilliant. You're absolutely welcome.